Introducing the Vapor Rhino 3-in-1 system, 145 PSI of bleeding madness. We're also going to take a real close look at a few of the accessories that come with the Vapor Rhino's robust and versatile 50-piece accessory kit. So stay tuned. Listen, I want to thank you all for joining us. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you being here, watching our videos, and interacting with us. But, uh, but right now, we're going to jump into looking at a few of the accessories that come with the large 50-piece accessory kit with your Vapor Rhino. We're going to learn how to put some of the attachments on. So let's do that right now. We're going to take a close look at all these in just a second. We have seven out of the 50-piece accessories here. You have three single hole nozzles, a 12-inch, an 8-inch, and a 3-inch. You have our large triangle brush, which also doubles as a handheld steam mop. You have the upholstery brush or rectangle tool, which has tapered nylon bristles which also doubles as a handheld steam mop. There's a clip on the back. You can simply wrap the cloth around it. We'll show more about that later. Then you have your large floor brush tool. This is a multi-function tool, and we'll get into that in a moment. But there are bristles underneath that. That pad is removable. You can use it as a scrub brush, a squeegee, a steam mop with the microfiber here, or you can use any of your own cloths and clip them on using those powerful clips you're looking at right now. Here's a peek of the bristles underneath. So let's take a closer look at these accessories. And the reason we picked these seven tools to show you today is that they're the most likely tools you'd use to clean the pet stains and or the hardwood floor mopping and laminate floor mopping or tile floor mopping, whatever it is. Um, also, we're not showing here today is the extraction set. Remember, you can do full upholstery and carpet extraction for spot cleaning and such too. So we're not even showing that feature. Um, you can use just the steam alone to do most of that. But let's move right along. The first thing we're looking at are the nozzles. You have three main nozzles. You have a 12 inch and for a huge reach, you have an eight inch and you have a three inch. Now there are some differences between the nozzles. The two longer nozzles have a smaller orifice which let out a different quantity of steam for detail cleaning. They're great for reaching behind refrigerators and so on. And here's a peek at the smaller orifice on the larger nozzle. Now the three inch nozzle has a much, much bigger orifice, a bigger hole that lets out a whole ton more steam. And that three inch tool is probably the most common tool you can use. Most people use either the three inch or the eight inch. They pretty much only jump into the 12 inch when you're reaching behind a refrigerator trying to get the coils or deep into an engine of a car or way underneath a car seat to do detail cleaning or something like that. But uh, there you are, there's your nozzles. Next, let's look at the multifunction large triangle scrub brush and how to turn it into a handheld steam mop. This tool, again, has multiple ports for steam exit and it allows for even distribution of the steam. It has a very uh, heavy duty set of nylon bristles designed for scrubbing. So you can use this tool without a, uh, without a cloth and you can scrub your surface. It also has a locking swivel head. So if you have your poles and you're working, you want to slide on the furniture, you can. Or if you wanted added scrubbing power, you can lock that so you can do your thing. Okay, so now we're going to attach the cloth. Putting a cloth on here can be a little tricky, but if you follow this technique, it's really rather easy. So you want to take your cloth, fold it in half, as you see here. This is a regular microfiber cloth. Put this close to the tip, but not all the way. You want to leave a nice little margin back here. You take and push your first tab in and pull this cloth back, right? And you want to take this one and push this, pull this forward. And you kind of want these two segments going forward like that, if you can see that. Now what you're going to do is fold this cloth up like that, and you're going to put it under. Very simple. You're going to put this one under the same way again. You're going to fold this up and put it under. You got a nice, good, double thick microfiber pad. This is good for steam mopping floors, cleaning countertops, sanitizing bathroom surfaces, walls, and so on. You know, whatever you want to do with this, uh, you pretty much can, your imagination is the limit. This also works very well for cleaning upholstery.
This is our rectangular brush. Again, it has a clip on it, just like the others. You'll notice the steam ports for a nice even distribution of steam. This one also has tapered bristles. Uh, this has been called the upholstery brush in the past. Um, I, I do prefer some of the other brushes for upholstery, but whatever you want to do, this does give a nice tapered edge for scrubbing. So it's a good all around scrub brush. And if you like, it can be a tool for like a hand mop. So you can put this on here. Simply pull your cloth up, tuck it under. Pull your cloth up, tuck it under this side. Now if you want to set this so this part is blocked. So you want to make sure this is up enough. So however you do that, it's up enough. And the reason is, when you close the front end up, and if you have a hole here, steam's going to come back and hit you in the hand, and that can be pretty hot. So be careful with that. Um, but it does make a really good tool. If you hold the tool right, use the extensions, you use the, um, the gun the right way, you really won't have a problem with that. But take this, tuck the rest away in, the rest away in, and now you have a nice little steam pad. Handheld steam mop. Very good tool. Included, all these things are included with the 50-piece accessory kit with your Vapor Rhino steam system. Take them off, throw them in a washing machine at night, and go back to work the next day. The Vapor Rhino large floor brush is truly a multi-use tool. Notice the steam ports in the bottom for even distribution of steam. Around the perimeter of the brush, you see heavy-duty bristles, great for scrubbing floors. On the edge of the tool, you will find a steam squeegee, so you can squeegee the floors after you scrub them. This is our microfiber head that attaches directly to the glide. We have the ability also for you to use the cloth of your choice. You can go to the store and buy cotton terry towels or microfibers, whatever you like, and those large built-in clips allow you to lock on the pad of your choice. Now this is beautiful because some companies require you to buy their pads that fit a certain way. Um, ours allows you to put it in pretty much any cloth you want as long as it's large enough to fit, and it's, uh, it's very easy to do. Our large floor brush also includes steam glides. This allows you to cover the bristles with a smooth glide, and what that does, it encapsulates the steam, allowing you to sanitize surfaces like bedding, carpets, and whatever you like. So that encapsulates the steam, making it extra, extra hot under the surface, and it's great for bed bug eradication, for killing dust mites, um, viruses and bacteria, great sanitizing tool for surfaces. Okay, that was just a brief look at just a few of the accessories included in your large 50-piece Vapor Rhino kit, uh, included with every 120 volt or 230 volt, 145 psi Vapor Rhino system. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and finish up that cat mess footage, and we're going to do a little steam mopping, and we're going to wrap this baby up. I do appreciate you guys stopping in and viewing everything here. Um, I would ask you to, uh, if you have the time, just like and subscribe, and, and share the love too. Spread this out, share with your friends, and let them know that Vapor Rhino is here, and that this is a powerful solution for so many of your cleaning needs, whether it be janitorial, home, but more specifically, um, industrial and commercial auto detailing. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the footage. So again, the same stuff. You see that's crispy, right? That is not coming off easily without ripping on it. If you go in here with a, a comb or try to rake that out, you're gonna tear on the fibers of the carpet, you could damage the carpet. Going underneath it, with a vapor rhino steamer. Put it under here to heat the carpet. Trying to break those mechanical bonds. Probably already done. So hold this and just clean it off. Careful, the spot's a little hot. Okay. Anything in the process, both are done.
Okay, here we are a week later and yet another stain. If nothing else, that cat, she is consistent. So this is another dried on stain and we're gonna do different this time. Instead of just using the nozzle, we're using the triangle brush. And you can do the same thing with the large floor brush too. Just to put it over that and encapsulate the steam to show you another method of doing it instead of putting the nozzle under it um, and doing it section by section, you can do it this way as well. So here's our large triangle brush. We're gonna do this a little bit different way. carpet up a lot. This is a powerful sanitizing tool. That spot is very, very hot right here. This, that will take your skin off. That is extremely hot. So that is a very powerful sanitizing tool. But what we're going to do today is this goop here, this throw up, is stuck in place. So we simply want to loosen it. Now, traditionally you come in here with a lot of cleansers and soaps and you wet this down and that melts the product or it melts the, the material you want to take off into the carpet. We're trying not to do that. We want to soften it and just simply take the cloth and pluck it off. So here we go. Put it on. We're going to heat the surface up. What we're doing by doing this, by the way, I'm going to stop for a second, is we're helping to break the mechanical bonds and the heat and moisture are breaking the chemical bonds. It's releasing this from the surface of the carpet. came right off, softened it right up. See that? That was right there. That was right there, it's all gone. So we're gonna do the rest of it. Now we could do the same thing with this large brush here. In fact, I'm gonna take this off to show you. So we could use the same large floor brush and have the same effect if you want to do a larger area. So take this off. By the way, the accessories go on so easy with the paper liner. Just push the button. That's it. It's on. So here's what this looks like. You great for scrubbing the surface. You can pull this cover off right here. You don't have to brush as we showed you earlier. But um, it's great for steam mopping floors and, and a whole bunch of things. Uh, sanitizing surfaces. Which essentially what we're doing here is we're sanitizing and we're using this to release the mechanical box. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the triangle brush. I'm going to lay this over it. And I'm going to steam. plucking off that stuff. The desire here is not to grind it in, so we're gonna switch now right over to our nozzle. Now that we got all that heavy, crusty stuff up, put on our single hole nozzle. See that dirt? And there you have it. Take the um, nozzle when you're done. So you have your, your scrub marks. You know, see how the carpet fibers kind of pushed in one direction. You can do your cleaning, but use the nozzle to fluff it. I'll turn it around.
Okay, you come with two extension poles that are 18 inches and also a short one which is half that which is 9 inches. Attaching the poles is incredibly simple. You have your little button here, you have a hole, slide it in, push your button, line it up and it clicks. Have one pole, two poles is usually more than adequate for the average person that's say 5 foot 10 inches. You have two poles and you can do all your standing and cleaning. This nozzle end here, you can put um, a single hole detail attachment. You can put a large floor brush, a brush, the triangle brush. Put most of the attachments can go right on here. Just the same, just the same as they go on the gun. It really is essentially the same end down here as it is up there. And for brevity's sake, we will put a large floor brush on. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that mop head. So we have our mop head here, we just attached. You can use a cotton cloth or a microfiber cloth of your own picking. You can buy them in the store and just attach them with the clips. Or you can use our included microfiber mop head. We have steam ports down here. You can see them there. Let's the steam out evenly across the floor. And we attach that very simply. Push the button. Right there. Right there. Now we have to turn them off. Beautiful, beautiful presentation. Now you can run, let's look at the Rhino. You can run at full power, which we are now, or with hardwood floors, it's often good to turn down the steam pressure. It's not necessary. You don't need full pressure for steaming the floor. I'm going to leave the pressure up just because it's going to show up better on the camera. And it will not. Beautiful presentation. You can see the mop head hopefully is getting dirty there. Right? So we're going to continue mopping. Naturally, you'd move everything before your mom. This is just for demonstration purposes. But let's look at this corner over here, if you could spin out there. You ready? Mm -hmm. Really a great tool to work with. As you can see, we picked up a significant amount of dirt. Introducing the Vapor Rhino 3-in-1 system, 145 PSI of cleaning madness. Yeah, no doubt. I'm gonna take my Vapor Rhino down to the auto detailing 
shotgun <laughs> that steam and put it up. Gonna grab that chemical <laughs> stuff. Gonna take my vapor rhino down to the auto <laughs> <laughs> Approved. <laughs> Very much so, yes.